Now, question is what is license exempt? License exempt is called ISM bans, industrial, scientific, and medical. Now, the application is not limited to these. So, if you have an application which is not industrial, not scientific, and not medical, you know, there is no definition for these. So, everybody uses ISM bands. Just the name came about because when they first allocated that, that this is for scientific and medical applications. And there are many bands and there are different countries have different bands. So, there is this band, this band, this band and so on and so forth. And some of them are available only in Europe, some of them are only available in America, but the ones that are available worldwide are obviously more used. Right? And so, most commonly used one is 2.4 gigahertz. Right? The one that is used for Wi-Fi. 2.4 gigahertz and it goes from 2.4 to 2.5 and so there is, there you have 100 megahertz. Available. Then, when that got filled up, I and mean, right now you know you can't really run anything because everything runs at 2.4 gigahertz. Are your phones and I mean the cordless phone and and everything else, including microwave. So people moved on to higher one, 5.7 to 5.8 gigahertz, and there we have 150 megahertz available. Okay. So now you know two bands. 2.4, 5.8. When I say 5.8, I mean 5.725 to 5.875. When I say 2.4, I mean 2.4 to 2.5. Okay, that answers your question. Okay, so they obviously started from the low frequencies, but they were just not enough bandwidth here, right? Here you have some respectable bandwidth to use. Do some data transmissions. So now we did what they, they did was they divided the channel into 5 megahertz channels. I mean, they divided the band into 5 megahertz channels. 5 megahertz channels. 5 megahertz. So, let's say first channel starts here, 5 megahertz, another 5 megahertz, 2, 5, 5, 5, 5. So, given 100 megahertz, you will get 20 channels. So, actually, you don't have 100 megahertz. The numbers previously were slightly rounded off. What you have is Somewhere around 2400 to 2483, so you have about um, 80 megahertz, so you'll probably get 16, something like that, right? But Wi Fi decided to use 20 megahertz, that means they will use four channels at once. So when you use one, you use one, two, three, four, all right? So they used instead of five megahertz, they use so. So channel one goes from for Wi Fi, goes from here to there. Now, then you cannot use these other channels. You cannot really use two, three, or four because the people at one are already occupying those channels. So, the next one comes is six because you want to leave at least one channel between for overflow. So, one and then you use six. And then six goes to seven, eight, nine. And then you don't use ten, so you use eleven. So, you basically have choice of three channels when you divide this, when you when you program your access point, you can either take 1, 6, or 11, right? You know that, right? Everybody knows that 1, 6, and 11. Now you know why. Because you are using four channels at the same time. When you say 6, you are using 6, 7, 8, and 9, all right? When you say 1, you are using 1, 2, 3, and 4. So instead of 20 or so, we have, or 16 or so, we have only three non-overlapping channels. You can use overlapping channels, but then you will have a lot more interference. Okay. In fact, you can use the same channel. I can use one, you can use one, and we will both be happy except that we will be colliding once in a while and you will be retransmitting, I will be retransmitting. Five is why five is a channel and twenty is a channel. Yeah, so the channels are numbered. So the thing is Channels are numbered by FCC. FCC is the Federal Communication Commission or something, which is the one in the United States which gives out all these exemptions, right? So they said, okay, they give you 2400 to 2480 megahertz exempt from licensing. And so the channels are, you know, 5 megahertz, you know, by that number they have, you know, these channels, right? But Wi Fi arbitrarily decided that we are going to use 20 megahertz at a time. We can't do anything with 5 megahertz. So, we are going to use 20 megahertz at a time and because of that, 
we can only use 1, 6 and 11. And we are saving 5 because um, we just don't want to be, you know, the thing is when you use 4, you are really using part of 5 and part of 3 a little bit, you know. And so, if you leave one clear, you just leave one and then go to 6. There is always an overflow. Alright, at 5 gigahertz, there is more spectrum available. However, again, if, you, if the channels are numbered like this. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and then up to here and then they go 36, 37, 38, 39, each of them 5 megahertz. But again, we don't use 5 megahertz, we use 4 at a time. So, what you get is 36, 40, 44, 48, you no, know, things like that and so on. So, basically, you will get some multiple of 6 or multiple of 4 or something like that you will get. And so, there are 12 non-overlapping channels. So, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 4. 12 down the overlapping channels. That's all we have. Actually, here is another interesting thing I noticed. That this is not contiguous. This is starts at 5150, goes to 5350, and then it starts at 5725, goes to 5825. So, the band was allocated in two pieces. Why? Okay. So, whenever we say 5.8, we mean any other. Go ahead. They are going what? Uh, the, the right. So they are. So that's another thing I noticed is that there isn't 20 megahertz and they are contiguous. They are not leaving that one which is left here at the lower band. So the 36 and 40, just four apart. 40 and 44 is four apart. So we already talked about the five physical layers and the first one. Um, the 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 the, the two files, three files we talked about, right? The, the two files which were um, wireless, the third one was really infrared which is totally different. Light, actually infrared is light. So, the three which were radio, the two that were radio, they were at 2.4 gigahertz. Right? And, um, and they were operating at 1 and 2 megahertz and, the, and so they said this is not good enough. So, they started working on higher speed. And in 99, they came up with two, two, two new ones called A and B. A was running at um, 5 gigahertz band at 54 megabits using 20 megahertz using FD, OFDM. So now you know why I explained you OFDM so much because we are going to use it all the way through. So if they used OFDM and 20 megahertz, same speed, same, same band, but they produced 54 megabits per second. However, they had changed the band. And, and the B guys, what they did was they produced only 11 megabits and they didn't use OFDM. Okay, they probably just changed the coding something, something. We'll see in a minute. Okay, so they could only go to 11, five times. Whereas these guys, for the same band, now these guys can go from 1 or 2 to 54, such a high factor. Right? So, once B came about, people loved B more than A because B has the same band. If you change the band, you need all new radio circuitry, right? So, people didn't want to jump to 5.8. So, they said, we love B, but it is not fast enough. Why can't we use the A technology at 2.4? So, that resulted in G. G is basically using OFDM at 2.4. 